Could all the planets align? In the popular imagination, the alignment of the planets in the solar system is a mystical event that only happens occasionally. But is it possible for all the planets to align simultaneously? And if it were possible, what effects would this event have on Earth? Let's find out. Before we move further into the video, I'm excited to talk to you about a mobile game that's been making waves recently. I'm talking about Raid Shadow Legends, the mobile game that's completely free to play and offers endless hours of fun. This game is completely free to play and has already been downloaded by over 80 million players worldwide. With console quality graphics and an incredible collection of over 650 champions, this game is definitely worth checking out. Now let me tell you why you should start playing Raid. Let's start with the letter R for Rahazen Skarhide. He's a legendary Lizardman champ that can be fused and is a game changer in battles. Moving on to the letter A for Arbiter. She's the face of Raid and has an amazing speed aura for the arena. Then there's I for Iragoth, the Eternal Dragon. He's a Doom Tower boss and one of the most challenging opponents in the game. And finally D for Dragon's Lair. It's the best place to farm speed artifacts, which are essential for improving your champion's performance. But that's not all. What I like more is Raid offers tons of content that is regularly updated. Speaking of updates, Raid is celebrating its fourth anniversary, and there's a lot to get excited about. From dedicated offers and promo codes to free gifts and events, there is something for everyone. And there's a brand new fusion event where you can get your hands on an anniversary-themed legendary champion. Plus, you can take a trip down memory lane with a recap video of your stats in Raid. All new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts just by entering promo code 4 years Raid to get your hands on four legendary skill tones, plus other useful stuff. So what are you waiting for? Download Raid! Shadow Legends today and join the millions of players who have already fallen in love with this game. Whether you're a casual player or a competitive gamer, there's something for everyone in Raid. Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses like Epic Champion Kellen the Shrike and other useful things. So hit that download button and let's start playing Raid Shadow Legends. Is it physically possible for the planets to align? The planets in our solar system never line up in one perfectly straight line, as they show in the movies. If you look at a two-dimensional plot of the planets and their orbits on paper, you may be led to believe that all the planets will circle to the same line. But the planets do not all orbit perfectly in the same plane. Instead, they swing about on different orbits in three-dimensional space. For this reason, it is unlikely that they will ever align. In the solar system, each planet orbits the Sun in its orbit, which has a unique inclination concerning the plane of the ecliptic. The ecliptic is the plane in which the Earth orbits the Sun. Because of these tilts, the planets rarely align in a straight line relative to Earth. Also, the planets have different orbital periods, which means they take different amounts of time to orbit the Sun. So, even if the planets were aligned at any given time, their orbital motion would mean that the alignment would quickly break down. That said, there are times when multiple planets appear close together in the night sky from our perspective on Earth, often called a planetary conjunction. But these events do not imply a perfect alignment of the planets in a straight line, but rather a particular moment in which two or more planets are simultaneously in the same region of the sky. Although it is extremely rare, it would be possible for the solar system's eight planets to align in a straight line, but would it be as fantastic as it sounds? The Orbits and Orbital Inclinations of the Planets Each of the eight planets in the solar system has a unique orbital inclination, which determines the orientation of its orbital plane relative to the plane of the ecliptic, the plane that contains Earth's orbit around the Sun. The orbital inclination is measured in degrees and represents the angle between the planet's orbital plane and the ecliptic plane. 
Mercury has a little orbital inclination, only 7 degrees, meaning its orbital plane is nearly aligned with the ecliptic plane. Venus has an orbital inclination of 3.39 degrees and Earth has an orbital inclination of 23.5 degrees. Mars has an orbital inclination of 1.85 degrees, which means that its orbital plane is relatively close to the plane of the ecliptic. The outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, have orbital inclinations at 1.31 degrees, 2.49 degrees, 0.77 degrees, and 1.77 degrees, respectively. Due to these unique orbital inclinations, the planets have different chances of aligning with Earth. The inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are more likely to align with Earth during a planetary conjunction, since their orbital planes are closer to the ecliptic plane. However, even the inner planets have unique orbital inclinations that can affect the probability of an alignment with Earth. For example, planetary alignments involving Venus are relatively rare. Venus has an orbital inclination of 3.39 degrees. This means that when Venus moves around the Sun, it does not follow a path aligned with the ecliptic plane as Earth does, but is deflected up and down relative to this plane. This orbital inclination makes planetary conjunctions involving Venus rarer since Venus is not always in the same plane as Earth. Also, Venus has a very close elliptical orbit to the Sun, meaning its distance from the Sun varies quickly. All the planets have elliptical orbits, but the case of Venus and Mercury is distinct. Since they orbit very close to the Sun, their translation speeds are very high so they go from being very close to very far from the Sun in periods, very short concerning other planets. Therefore, planetary conjunctions involving Venus are rarer since perfect alignment between Venus, Earth, and other planets only occurs when Venus is near the closest point in its orbit to Earth. Instead, conjunctions involving Mars are more common due to its nearly circular orbit and relatively low orbital inclination. For this reason, it is more common to see Mars in the night sky than Venus. The orbital inclinations of the planets are an essential factor in the probability of a planetary alignment with Earth. The inner planets have a higher chance of aligning with Earth during a planetary conjunction due to their orbital inclinations closer to the ecliptic plane. However, other orbital features such as orbital eccentricity can also influence the probability of an alignment. How often do the Earth and other planets align? Planetary alignments between the Sun, Earth, and each of the planets in the solar system are rare events and generally do not occur with a regular or predictable frequency. However, there are specific patterns and periods in which these alignments can occur. In the case of Mercury, alignments with the Sun and Earth are relatively frequent due to its closeness to the Sun and its fast orbit. An alignment between the Sun, Earth, and Mercury occurs approximately 12 times yearly. Still, not all of these alignments are visible from Earth since we also consider the times when Mercury is on the other side of the Sun. In the case of Venus, an alignment with the Sun and the Earth occurs approximately every 584 days, equivalent to a little less than 1.6 years. Venus can be seen from Earth in the sky just after sunset or before sunrise. In the case of Mars, an alignment with the Sun and Earth occurs approximately every 780 days, equivalent to just over two years. Mars can be seen from Earth in the night sky. In the case of Jupiter, an alignment with the Sun and the Earth occurs approximately every 399 days. Jupiter can be seen from Earth in the night sky during these alignments. In the case of Saturn, an alignment with the Sun and the Earth occurs approximately every 378 days. In the case of Uranus, an alignment with the Sun and the Earth occurs roughly every 369 days. Uranus can only be seen from Earth with a telescope during these alignments due to its low luminosity. And finally, with Neptune, an alignment with the Sun and the Earth occurs every 367 days, equivalent to almost one year. Neptune can only be seen from Earth with a telescope during these alignments because it is the farthest planet and has the lowest brightness. It is worth mentioning that these alignments do not mean that the three bodies are perfectly aligned in space, but are in the same line of sight from Earth's perspective. 
Also, not all alignments are visible from Earth, as the relative position of celestial bodies and illumination from the Sun can affect their visibility. For example, all alignments involving Mercury, Uranus, and Neptune are not visible to the naked eye, since Mercury is tiny and Uranus and Neptune are very far away. What would happen if all the planets aligned? Now that we understand the orbits, orbital inclinations, and transitional motion of the planets in the solar system, we can answer the initial question. Is it possible for the solar system's eight planets to line up in a single straight line? The answer is yes, but since the inner planets have much faster translation speeds, this alignment would last a few seconds. Then they would misalign again to follow their path around the Sun, not to mention that this is very unlikely. And not that there is an estimated date of when this could occur, it is likely only once every several billion years. Well, now that we know that it is possible for the solar system's eight planets to align, what would happen if all the planets aligned? First, we must consider that the planets do not have enough mass and gravity to influence the Earth's orbit when aligning. Furthermore, the distances between the planets are so great that the gravity between them is relatively weak. The only exception would be Jupiter, the most massive planet in the solar system, which has a significant gravitational influence on other planets and asteroids. But even Jupiter's gravity combined with the other planets would not be enough to perturb Earth's orbit significantly. However, smaller bodies like comets and asteroids, maybe they would feel it. Jupiter's gravitational pull is so great that it has affected the orbits of other bodies, such as the asteroid Shoemaker-Levy 9, which collided with Jupiter in 1994 after being perturbed by the giant planet's gravity. If the eight planets of the solar system were to align, the orbits of asteroids would be affected, albeit subtly. Asteroids are small bodies that revolve around the Sun in highly eccentric orbits with variable inclinations. Its orbit is influenced by the gravity of nearby planets and by the Sun, and disturbances in these orbits can cause asteroids to collide with planets or move away from the solar system. The alignment of the planets could affect the orbits of asteroids due to the combined gravitational influence of the planets. However, since the mass of the asteroids is very small compared to the total mass of the solar system, the gravitational influence of the planets on the asteroids would be relatively weak. Furthermore, most asteroids are not located in the same plane as the planets, but have inclined and eccentric orbits, which mean that their trajectory would not be significantly affected by a planetary alignment. The same would happen with comets, which, in addition to not being in the same orbital plane, are also very far away. So a momentary planetary alignment would not cause any effect on them. Given that a hypothetical alignment of the eight planets would only last a few seconds, and that the added gravity of all the planets would not cause any effect on Earth, we can say that when the eight planets of the solar system align, nothing will happen, or at least nothing that we can perceive from Earth. Planetary conjunctions are special cosmic events that allow us to see the planets at their best and appreciate the beauty and complexity of the universe around us. But beyond their visual beauty, they are also an essential source of information for scientists seeking to understand better how our solar system works and how it formed. These events gives us clues about the gravitational forces that keep the planets in their orbits and help us understand how these orbits change over time. Each planetary conjunction reminds us of the infinite diversity and complexity of the universe showing us that even when the planets appear to be aligned, each follows its unique path through space. Ultimately, planetary conjunctions remind us of the importance of continuing to explore and learn about the universe around us, so that we can appreciate its beauty and understand its complexity. And although we have more and more questions than answers, each discovery is an opportunity to marvel at the grandeur of the universe and better understand our place in it.